I, I think we have to start with the design. These are truly beautiful devices. We've all got different variants here. So we've got the, the uh, S6, we've, you've got an edge. The edge, one. the edge one. I've got an edge with the cover. We've got other covers we can play with in a minute. But first of all, what do you guys think about the design? Well, it's absolutely beautiful. I mean, it's so sleek if you just look at it here. And I love the way that the light reflects off it. An absolutely gorgeous device. And one of the things I keep thinking, and the word I just want to use all the time, is that this is such a sophisticated device. And you know, I'm holding the S6, you have the edge a little bit different. And the exciting thing there is obviously the curve and the glass going over the front of the screen. I think from my uh, practical man's perspective, I know that when I've made something uh, and you're really pleased with it, you might, you might look at the welds and think, yeah, really, really good welds. Everything looks good, it all seems to fit. I think the person that's designed this, when they were handed the first one off the production line or first saw it on the computer, they must have looked at it and gone, yeah, I've done a really good job on that because it is, it is brilliant, absolutely brilliant. It is definitely a premium product, right? That is premium craftsmanship. You do not pick up one of these S6s and think anything about it is cheap. In fact, you probably wonder, how did they build that thing? Yeah, I love the fact that you, you can't see any fix-ins. There's, there's no screws or bolts or anything like that. It's as if it was held in suspended animation and like, bang, they've slapped <laughs> it all together. You'll, you'll never take it a bits or anything. It's, it's good, it's seamless, seamless. You know, in, in addition to that really awesome construction, what I, what I like very much is the 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 texture and the lighting that the lighting effects of it? So, you know, you've got one of you got one of the colors over there. Yeah. I believe you've got the. Uh, I've gone for the, the green one. Yeah, the emerald, like British, green emerald, British right. racing green. Is there I you like go. To call there it, you but go. it's emerald green, and uh, and there's a slightly bluer one as well, which to kind of. Uh, to, to put it into real terms, it's a bit like when you see petrol or something like shimmering on water, you've got like that mirror of colour. It's a bit like a fish. I it's, kind of thought of a bit like yes. a fish. You've it kind of got that. Like so fish. they look quite dark, but they do have a bit of colour to it. And so. that's what I love about it's them. It's iridescent, right? It is. Yeah. And I go back to them being so sophisticated because many times we see with smartphones is that they have these bright colours, you know, some of the primary colours, but these are very sleek and I think people are going to love them. We should mention they come in four different colours. So people will be excited. You do have an option there as well. Yeah, there's several different. You've got gold, platinum, which is what I've got. I've got a little bling going on bling. over here. Yeah, we've got black. <laughs> Sapphire, green, emerald, which you've got. We got blue topaz, and also white pearl. White, so we, of course. there's, there's, yeah, multiple colors and white and black, whatever. So, uh, very cool. And let's not forget, good looking is one thing, but durable is another. Yes. And durable these is babies another. are very durable because they are, they have gorilla glass on both sides. I know, we have to talk about that. You know, I was just looking and when we were watching the keynote saying that the Gorilla Glass is actually 50% stronger. I mean, this is really exciting for people, especially like you said, because they do have it on both sides. And if you look at this here, we're looking at the front of the phone, but we can flip it around and look at the back. I mean, again, I go back to the design just being so absolutely fabulous yeah. and, and sturdy. And you'll yeah, like that. Yeah, I mean, I, I, as a practical person, I, that's what I look for in the phone, because this thing, it sits in my pocket. Uh, it goes through everything I do. I generally don't tend to put cases on them. Um, so if I fall off something, if I'm you know, hammering something or whatever, the, the phone's pretty much going through it as well. And you never know, this might actually save my leg one day. So the tougher they are, the better. And as <laughs> most people, if they're going to break anything on the phone, it's, it's a screen, isn't it? We've all broken screens and yes. things. So the tougher they make them, That's the right. better. And that is the toughest screen on the market. Also, because you've got the one with the curved edges, we should probably mention that it's not just beautiful. It doesn't just feel good in the hand. It, it serves a purpose. Yeah, it you does. You want to tell them what it does? Yeah, definitely. If you want to just uh, hold it, or I can hold it for you, Con. Yeah, you okay, so it. I'll go for it here. So if we see the curve on the edges, it does serve a purpose, and that's purpose being that you can get notifications. So it's not just pretty, it also has uh, some utilitarian yeah. purpose as well, which I think is great. Also, the, one of the things that I love is that you can color code it, so based on who's calling you. So say, for example, that John P is calling me, I can color code it so it's bright red, and I can see that red kind of glow from underneath. So red is like a warning, don't right? Don't answer like, Don't answer don't that answer. Could be for love, <laughs> John. Could be for love. Oh, it could be. It could it be for love. That's right. right. What right. are you talking about? Well, I think it's why, because, I mean, it's, this is one of the features which I think people get excited about, because I think with these conventions, where I get so many people here, is every time, you know, like a new phone comes out, we, we always want to see, like, a, 
uh, a gimmick or something which is really cool and fresh. And the, the bent screen, I think, is definitely that. But this does actually serve a purpose. It's not just there for you know for it to be flat. No, you does can actually see do it something. glowing along the edge when you leave it face down, and that's where these notifications come exactly. in, right? Exactly. So you, you quickly know. Oh, that's blue. I know it's whatever whatever you're. And thanks for. to that curve, you know. Also, when you're watching any type of video or you're looking at any photos on the phone, again, it looks beautiful because of that curve. It's yeah. a really interesting design point. Let's talk a little bit about photos and videos and watching them on there because the screen is eminently capable of displaying any kind of comment, uh, content you want because of its super high resolution. It's 557 pixels per inch, which is the highest pixel density of anything in this size. Yeah, and that goes back to my point. People want to be able to watch videos. I mean, more and more people are even watching full-length movies on their phones. So you want to make sure that that resolution is absolutely gorgeous, and this does the trick. Yeah. So it's super clear that an eagle could watch this. <laughs> Indeed. I mean, because Indeed. eagles are known for their smartphone They've got good activity, vision. of course. Even they couldn't see the pixels. That's right. <laughs> it all comes back to animals with this one over it does. here. That's it all does. I'll animals. Say. Animals. <laughs> animals. Now, uh, in addition to the screen being extremely clear, it's also bright. It is also bright. And this is one of the frustrations I think people have with smartphones is that you're using your phone all the time in the daytime, right? You go out, you want to take a photo, you want to look at something, you can't see your phone. But with this phone, you will be able to see it in bright light. So that's definitely an improvement there. That might help when you're out, you know, doing crazy things outdoors. Uh, you need to pull out your camera, uh, your phone, and use the camera, for example. You've got to be able to see the screen to do it. <laughs> you have to, but remember I live in England where sunny days are a premium. Ah, that's but, true, yeah. that's true. On the off chance that we get some glorious sunshine, <laughs> yeah. I'll still be able then to use it. you'll be able to use it. Okay, there's one other thing that I want to point out that I find very exciting that I know you guys haven't had a chance to check out yet, but the Gear VR headset is made, there's a new version specifically made for the S6, which allows you to basically snap this thing into a headset and it'll be right in front of your eyeballs, okay? Now, the fact that it has a 2560 by 1440 resolution screen in this tiny little display means that when you have it directly in front of your eyes, each eye gets a full HD experience, which is important if you want to have a very immersive viewing experience with this headset on. Yeah, it's, people are going to love that. Yeah. Which is quite cool, so it turns your phone into a virtual reality headset as well. Exactly. It does. So you don't have to buy something separate. It does. There's money saving there, I like that. As a tight, <laughs> as a tight man, I like that. <laughs> well, as a tight man, you probably don't like paying a lot for electricity either. So it's a good <laughs> thing that these new devices have excellent battery life. They really do. You know, I've been using the Samsung Galaxy S5 now for a long time, and one of the things I absolutely love is that the battery life is fabulous. You know, this is one of the reasons that I use it all the time is because it doesn't take that long to charge. And what's great about these new devices is that in just 10 minutes, you can get four hours of charge for basic usage, you know, going around and checking your email and doing those type of things. So that's a significant improvement. I've never seen anything that great on the market. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's just great. So if you take the average working day, is about eight hours. So if come lunchtime, you're, you know, your phone's nearly dead or for some reason, you know, 10 minutes and it will see you out for the rest of the day. Yeah, so. yeah, definitely. And one of the other things that you can do is if you forget to charge it by plugging in a wire, you can always use the new wireless charging capability that's built into the phone. And that's super fun, just having this wireless charger so you literally set it on there. That's right. And you're good to go. And why is that? I mean, people, the reality is people are a little bit lazy, and even just plugging your phone in can take that extra step, and people don't like to do that. So I think I this means... I don't have time to be plugging in cables, okay? <laughs> it takes like three seconds, so a lot of us... But that's three seconds, okay? How many people do you know who walk around with their phones not charged? I know uh, a lot of people. Tons of people. Tons of people. So how many times have you been sitting in your living room and you were maybe watching a TV and you wish you you wish the lights weren't on, but you're too lazy to get up and go flip the light switch? Hey, for that for those times, we have these little wireless chargers. And also, Samsung is making this beautifully designed charger. And uh, Colin's got the black one over there. We've got the white one over here. But as you said, Colin, you know, when you go into your office, you're just going to take your phone or your home or wherever. You're going to lay it on that charger and bingo. That's it. You're oh, done. I right? think to be fair, this, the, these things here will 
will mean that you will forget about battery life altogether. I remember when uh, I first started working for a company that paid for petrol, and I immediately just forgot about the petrol gauge, because <laughs> yeah. I went paying for it, it's like, I don't have to worry about that. Well, if you're at work constantly, you put your phone down, it's been charging, you'll have one of them next to your bed at home, you, you, you know your phone's always going to have power in it, so right. I think these are brilliant. That's a good